Welcome back to my channel. In today's Halloween tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with applying these horns. I did uh, buy them from Spirits. They were a little bit too big for me. At first I thought they weren't gonna be too big cause I low key don't have a small forehead, but they were too big. So I ended up cutting them a little bit shorter or smaller. I don't even know how to explain it. And um, I did try to line them up equally before I glued them down. And to glue it down, I did use the Spirit Gum, which is a glue from Spirit. And I applied it all over the, the bottom of the horns. And to make it tacky, you want to um, just like touch it with your finger. And I totally forgot to do that. So it was kind of difficult for me to apply the horns. And it took me forever to apply them, but eventually I did apply them. And um, they did stay on for a really long time. And they were actually pretty easy to remove. With, um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my eyes. I'm gonna prime my eyes with my um, MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I'm gonna go in with my Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna start applying my transition shade all over my eyes. At first I didn't know what look I was going to do, but I just winged it and I just decided to use all reds. So I'm going in with this red and I'm putting it all over my crease using a smaller brush. And then I also blended it out with the transition shade because you want to do a lot of blending when you're working with really deep shades like this. So it won't become a really big mess. And then I did go in with a darker shade in the crease. It's kind of like a burgundy purplish color. And I put that in my crease just to deepen it up a little bit. And I really love how this look came out. Um, then I went in with my Wet n Wild Highlighter Powder. Um, I forgot the shade name, but it is a Halloween highlighter. And I was not going to use it as a highlighter. I got it because it was sparkly and I really thought I could use it in my lid. So that's what I did. And then I got this other red shade from the palette and I put that right in the center of the black shade and then I went in with my Tarte Precision Liner to wing this out but I did something different. I actually went over the wing and I did it all the way up almost over the eyeshadow. I didn't record this part because I didn't know I was going to do it until I did it so I apologize for that. If you guys don't know how to, I did this please let me know and I can actually show you guys how I did it. So I did um, do it all over the eyeshadow and then I also used the black shadow to blend out the edges. And then for primer, I used my Makeup Revolution Matte Primer. And then for foundation, I'm using my Maybelline um, Matte in Poreless in the shade 310. One of my favorite drugstore foundations. I actually use this every day for work as well. Um, and then I didn't show the concealer, but I did use my Shape Tape by Tarte. And then for contouring, I did go in with my Mellow Cosmetics um, Face Palette. I do have a link with them if you guys want 10% off. Um, your order you can use my link it's down in the, in the description box and I also use this contour shade to contour my nose because you know I have a big nose so I had to get snatched and then for blush I used my Sweet Cheeks blush palette by NYX I did get this in one of my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus bags um, and I'm using this shade right here this palette is really pigmented so I do recommend you guys going with the light hand with this blush palette but it's a really pretty blush palette and then I'm just going to add some shadow on my lower lashes on my lower on my lower lash line and I'm just mixing the red and the purple one and I'm just bringing the purple out to the whole wing not too far or too dramatic but just enough so you can see it and then I did use one of my um, Tarte liners to tight line and put some black liner in my waterline and then for lashes I'm going to use my Tress Chic Cosmetics lashes in the style Queen, I do have a discount code also down in the description box. And then for highlighter, I used my Amorizi highlighter by ABH because it's a really pretty and one of my favorite highlighters. So just make sure you highlight your whole face. <laughs> and then I went in with my um, face gems from Wet n Wild. I did get these from Walmart along with the highlighter. And I just went ahead and I placed these just anywhere on the face where I thought it looked cute. So that's what I did. And then for lips, I did go in with a black um, pencil that came with one of the makeup kits that I got from Walmart. And I just outlined my lips with that. And then in the center, I did go in with um, a NARS Velvet um, Lip 
pencil. <laughs> I think that's the name of, of the pencil in the shade Dragon Girl. And I just put that all on the center. And I just used it to blend in with the black um, crayon. And I liked how it looked. But, but you know me, I like sparkle. So I did go in with a lip topper. This is by LA Girl. And this holographic topper in the shade Magical. And I just love how this lip combo came out. So pretty. And then the horns did come with um, activated, a uh, water activated makeup in red and black. So I went ahead and I went in with the red one. And I just started to apply this all over the horns. Just to start blending it in with um, my forehead. <laughs> and to cover up the bulkiness of the, um, of the horns. And then I also added some more gems on my forehead. Just because I thought, why not, you know? Like, I have a shitload of gems. So I was like, just place them anywhere. And then after that, I did go in with the black one. And I just used a brush. And I just put it wherever I thought it would look good. Like I said, like, I was just winging, winging this. I just saw the horns that spirit. And I knew I wanted to do something with them. So that's what I did. And this is what what came out out of it. So <laughs> so that's what happened. Um, Yeah, so I just got the brush. And I just put the black paint, which wherever I thought it looked good. Or I also went on reference of the picture where the horns came. And I just went from there. But, I mean, it still came out pretty good. And then after that, I did go in with fake blood sca uh, scab that I got from Walmart as well. And I also put this all over the horns um, with a different brush. And then I also went ahead and I applied some, some of this on my face. Um, just where I thought it would look good or whatever. Um... But, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I did with it. I also decided to put some, like, coming out of the gems. I don't know. Like, maybe they were bleeding. But, <laughs> I don't know. And then I also put some going down my eyes because I said, why not? And then I got some fake blood. I also got this from Walmart. And I just put it all over my face as well. Um, yeah. And after that, I did go in with my black wig. It was really hard to put the wig on because of the horns. But thankfully, it did stay on. And I did get this wig from Amazon. It's one of the first wigs that I have ever bought in. And then I decided to put in some fangs because, you know, why not? I also got this from Walmart. And I just applied some um, blood scab in my teeth just to make it really bloody. And I really like how this came out. Um... Yeah, so this is the final look right here, you guys. This is my first Halloween look of the year. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else from me before Halloween is over. And I will do it for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you recreate this look, tag me in your post. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Love you.